Hey, this is Daniel, and welcome back to Drummer Daily. Um, I'm so happy you could join me today so we could chat about drumming and uh, all that stuff. Uh, so as I mentioned in the last episode, um, I did a, uh, a video shoot, a, a live kind of performance video shoot last week. Um, and so uh, I talked a little bit about how I got that gig in the last episode. So if you're interested in that, uh, jump back, listen to that episode. I believe that's uh, season four, episode 28. Um, so uh, I think, yeah, I think this is 429. So yeah, the previous episode would be 428. Uh, anyway, I want to continue down that path a little bit and uh, talk about a few lessons that I learned uh, in that whole process. Um, and, and I want to talk a little bit about preparing uh, for a gig and tell you what I did because um, there's a couple of things that I think are important and I think there are things that, that you and I should all be doing um, as drummers who uh, I don't have the... Uh, aspiration to play professionally ongoing all the time uh, right now, but I do like to have it be a part of my life sometimes. But there's a lot of things that you can do uh, that, I, that I have to do uh, ongoing in my life just to be able to uh, to do that. And I want to talk a little bit about that. I want to talk a little bit about how I prepared for the gig on, on Tuesday. The day of the week that it happened was Tuesday. Happened kind of like mid-afternoon was the time of day that the the shoot was going to start. So I believe, like I said, I got asked to do the gig on Sunday night. And then I think I got the songs either really late Sunday night or uh, Monday morning. And there were four songs to learn. And uh, what's crazy about these songs is that I I believe only one of them has actually been released um, and so the other three were kind of works in progress, but the, the drums were done on the songs. It was obvious like that, that had kind of been settled. And so I had parts to learn. I had four parts to learn. Um, and normally when I prepare for a gig or like a, a live performance, uh, like a normal concert type thing, uh, you know, I might write out some notes or some charts or something, uh, to help me remember. But the thing about this one was that it's, uh, it's a video shoot, and and it probably wasn't going to look too great to have the drummer have his head buried in a bunch of charts uh, on video. So I had to memorize the songs. So what did I do? Well, the first thing I did was something that I uh, actually, you know, started doing years ago. <laughs> That's how I prepared for this gig. And that is, you just got to stay as much as you can on top of your game as far as being a drummer, which means for me, it means playing, if not every day, as many days as I can per week, you know, three or four days per week at least uh, to stay at the top of my ability. I need probably a solid week of regular drumming to really get back to being my full kind of usual self on the drums if I haven't played in a long time. And so in this situation, if I had you know, gotten this gig on a Sunday and needed to uh, play the gig on Tuesday, that's not, that's that's two days. That's, or actually it was Sunday night. So it really was like a day and a half uh, of preparation that I had. I didn't have the week of playing to get back to where I was. So if I wasn't already at the top of my game when I got this gig, um, the gig was not going to go well for me. So I had to um, already be there. So that's, that's number one is just do your best to stay on top of your drumming because you never know when an opportunity is going to present itself. The second thing I did was um, I did not early on, once I got the songs, um, you know, I had work to do during the day on Monday and, and even on the day on Tuesday. So I just put the songs on repeat and just listened to them. And I did not, you know, the first uh, 10 or 15 times I listened to the songs, I didn't stress too much at the at, at first about certain parts or certain um, um, things that I need to remember. I didn't start taking notes or doing anything like that right away. I think the tendency a lot of times for us is to, um, at least for me, it is to, the second I know I have to memorize this song, the first time I listen to it, go ahead and start trying to memorize it all. And I only do that really when I'm in the studio and I, you know, I've got to listen to the song once and then go inside and track the, you know, go track the drums for it. Uh, but in this situation, I didn't stress too, too, too much early on about, oh, I've got to remember this happens or this happens in the song. I just wanted to get familiar with the song the way I would if I was just a fan of the music 
and just wanted to listen to the song a lot because I loved the, the song. And uh, did that for a while. And then the next step that I do after that is I don't actually really know how much I've memorized of the song until I sit down and try to play the song. So I spent basically all day Monday while I was working just listening to the songs. And then Monday night, I sat down at the drum kit, put the songs on, and attempted to play along with them. Now, I, I mixed the way I normally mix uh, the, the, the balance between my drums and the music I play along with. Normally, you know, I, I want to hear my drums a little bit over the real drums so that I, you know, can hear myself play. In this situation, I, I wanted it to be the opposite. I wanted to hear the, the real drums on the record a little more than myself so that I could tell where I was missing it, uh, not playing the right pattern or little things like that. But I always discover that I have certain things memorized better than I thought um, when I play. But really the most eye-opening thing that I realize when I sit down to play um, along with songs for the first time is actually the opposite. I realize, oh man, I, I really don't remember much about this song or this part of this song. And so sometimes I'll play along. I'll play along several times with the songs, uh, and then I'll make some notes if I need to. But a lot of times I won't make notes. I'll see how much I can memorize. I don't like taking notes unless it's a last resort because I learn that if I take notes, I will use them. I will stare at them. Whatever I have, I'm going to use. So I pretend that I don't have the option. And then um, did that kind of practice on Monday night. And then Tuesday morning when I um, when I got up and started working, I um, first uh, listened to the songs again, kind of imagined that I was uh, playing along with them. Um, this is just at my desk. This wasn't at the drums or anything like that. And then what I do is uh, I do take out my notes and start taking notes about what I know that I don't remember or that I might need to make sure I get right, especially unique things that are a little bit out of the ordinary. So I do that. And uh, then I spend a few minutes also, this is key, uh, creating click tracks. If you're a drummer, you need to show up prepared with a click track for every song that you could possibly be playing. Don't ask, don't find out if you need to, just do it. Show up with it, and then if you don't need it, that's fine, but you came prepared just in case. I've shown up for a few gigs where somebody else had backing tracks or click tracks ready to go, and I didn't need the click track that I had. Um, but uh, in the situation where um, I was in last week, what happened was I made the click tracks early on Tuesday morning, and then like 30 minutes before I left, I was in the middle of like packing up drums or whatever uh, for the for the gig. Uh, I got a text from the artist and he's like, hey, can you make click tracks for this? Well, if I at that moment stopped to make a click track for, or click tracks for all the songs we were going to do, uh, I was going to be late probably for showing up for the gig. So I had, uh, you know, thankfully I'd already made the click tracks. And so I was able to say, yeah, already got them. And that also made the artist feel like I was prepared in other ways. The fact that I said, already got it done. I, got, I took care of it already, so we're ready to go. Um, made him, not only put him at ease that uh, that I um, had made the click tracks that he needed, but also it's like, man, if Daniel already thought ahead and prepared for that aspect of what we're doing, then I know he's probably prepared for everything else. So it's that, that you're putting the artist at ease before he even showed up. You are performing the job and reinforcing how good you are as a drummer before you even show up, set foot at the gig. And so that's that's huge. So uh, my preparation basically was act like you're not going to have notes, act like you have to memorize it all, and then at the last minute, take the notes you need to take. Um, and then uh, we got to the gig, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the gig itself uh, in the next episode. Um, but uh, the, the biggest thing about the gig was uh, confidence while you're there, confidence without being arrogant and being open to uh, feedback and changing what you'd learn. So I, I took a lot of notes about how the parts were supposed to go, but then once I got there, a lot of that got thrown out uh, by the artist or by the musical director or other people um, who had ideas. And you can't be married to your own ideas or even, in this case, the record that I listened to, that's the way the songs are going to come out, you know, when they're on the on the album, uh, 
sound one way and then the live production is going to be very different of these uh these songs and that's what the artist wanted and i couldn't say no 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 your 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 album sounds this other way you got to do it this way i had to do what the artist wanted um and i actually think that what we came up with is pretty cool um but if i had my head buried in my notes i never would have been able to execute the way that we did um in one day recording three or four songs uh you know live on video so um the biggest thing is prepare 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 um they i think uh, someone i saw a quote somewhere i think it's a it's related to sports but they're like they say something like practice like you've never won and then play like you've never lost um and that definitely is something that we're going to come back to in the next episode uh that's what i that's what i that's the motto i live by as far as drumming um and so we'll talk a little bit more about more about that in the next episode but this episode, I think, is long enough. This hopefully will help you uh, in your preparations for gigs. Uh, even uh, preparing for gigs you don't know that you're going to get yet. Go ahead and start preparing now uh, because that's the hallmark of a professional is someone who's always prepared. All right, thanks for joining me today on Drummer Daily. We will talk again very soon. Bye for now.